fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We're right here every Sunday morning, 7 a.m., bilge pumps and all, on WMDT 47 ABC. How you like that, Terry? So, flounder fishing is really, really good right now. Not the best day in the world to be doing it right now. A lot of fog this morning, wind's supposed to blow a little bit this afternoon, but the water's clean and the fish have been snapping. So. Stay tuned after the break. We're going to drop a couple deadly doubles in on our JPR rods and see if we can catch a couple. We'll be right back after the break. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Storm has the area's largest selection of girls' clothing. 10,000 square feet of girls' surfwear, featuring Billabong, Roxy, Volcom, O'Neill, and Ruka, and swimwear by L Space and Magi, and many more. By far the largest selection of girls' surfwear that you need to be seen in this summer. Quiet Storm Surf Shop Boardwalk at North Division Street, right next to the Ocean City Arch. Ocean City is looking for people with experience, people with ambition, people who entertain new ideas and explore new paths, working in tandem for a common goal, people who love life and think different. Explore the possibilities. Ocean City welcomes you. Find your calling at ococean.com slash calling. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so we're gonna do some flounder fishing in the thoroughfare. Um, flounder fishing is getting pretty good in Ocean City right now. Willie Zimmerman's gonna give me a hard time for this because I'll say it again, I caught the first flounder of the season this year. There you go, Willie, row, sham, bow. Um, but it's been really good. Middle part of April, it started to pick up end of April it gets better and sometimes May can be really really good as long as the water stays clean we don't get too much rain too much wind that kind of thing flounder fishing in the thoroughfare behind Astique can be really good anywhere between four feet of water and 12 feet of water in those areas is usually the best spots to try during the spring so my boat when I'm fishing by myself I like to fish three rods I like to get as much coverage as I can so I'll show you what this setup is Fish Virginia just last week caught my limit down in Virginia and it's the exact same stuff I had rigs and everything so I'll get started JPR curly Q here my Canyon CR 10 I use bait casters on all of this stuff there's the hooked on OC from 
Paul did this all custom. This is a black and silver version we did. I'll show you the fishing OC stuff in the back. So what I've got on this one is the new Deadly Double in orange. This has really been producing well for people. It looks just like that salmon red. Top hook, I'm gonna put a four inch swimming mullet gulp. Bottom hook, I'm gonna put the five inch grub. All right, that's a little bit thinner body wise than the five inch swimming mullet. So I like the way it sits on the hook. That goes in my front rod holder. Give her a little zing. You don't have to cast, but I want to get this stuff deployed and in the place I want it pretty quickly. All right, now, back of the boat. Just watch where you're going, folks. Keep on, keep, keep on trucking. <laughs> back of the boat. I've got a chartreuse deadly double, and I want this one to be a little bit closer to the boat, so I'm gonna put a, th a three ounce sinker on this one. I want it to be able to be, you know, 10, 15 feet off the side of the boat when it scopes into the water. That way the other two rods I know are further away and that's how I'll dictate which, how I move the rods around if I happen to get a bite. On the chartreuse deadly double, five inch swimming mullet. That's the one I caught the first flounder of the season on. I think that's the exact same bait. Um, and I think this is the exact same rig. Chartreuse deadly double, really producing well for folks up here in the thoroughfare. And on top, I'm gonna to do a four inch swimming mullet in white. We'll get that one down to the bottom. And like I said, once I feel it hit the bottom, I'm only gonna let it out for another second or two. Call it an extra maybe 10 feet. Click that one in and it goes in the rod hole. And then last but certainly not least, I've got another JPR here. And the orange has been producing so well, I'm gonna try it again, but I'm also, I'm also gonna use some different colors in gulp. Um, what I like to do is I like to put a gulp on there in different colors because then I can figure out what the fish are eating, right? They like white, they like pink, they like chartreuse, they like salmon red. If I had live bait with me, I would put otter tails on there with these. Uh, those have been producing well. I caught a couple of fish down in Virginia last week on the otter tails with a live minnow. Let me show you how I put these gulp on. I would say that there is a right and a wrong way to put a gulp on, all right? So, put the rod to show you. Can you hook a gulp like you hook a minnow and catch fish? Sure you can. You wanna just do this? Bip! Yeah, you might catch a fish that way, but it's not the best way to do it. What I like to do is I like to thread it on there like you would a Roy Rig grub or a thingamajig grub, just like you would put it on one of those hooks. Find a spot where it's gonna come out of his back, go in the tip of his nose, come out that spot in his back, and then it sits just like that. That, I think, in my humble opinion, is the proper way to hook a gulp, okay? Especially with these live bait hooks that we've got on the uh, Deadly Doubles. That looks perfect, just like that. If you have a four inch swimming mullet, you can tip this with a minnow, tip this with shiners, strip baits, that sort of thing, or you can just leave it plain like this and you can have luck just like that. Whatever it is about these gulps and those otter tails, uh, they can work really, really well for folks. So, there's my spread, right up front, right here in the back. I stand right in the middle, that way I can see both of them. Engine's turned off, I got a good drift with the wind blowing from east to west. I'm gonna drift a car across this uh, channel up here in the thoroughfare and we're gonna see what happens. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Top Dog Services has the largest fleet of snow removal equipment in all of North America. With several sizes of tree can snow melters, no job is too large. Top Dog's fleet is ready to mobilize to clear and melt snow on site at any college, stadium, hospital, shopping mall, or other large scale facility. Top Dog Services currently provides snow removal and melting services for Dulles International, Reagan National, the U.S. Pentagon, and many others. Watch your winter worries go down the drain. Call Top Dog Services for 24 hour emergency snow response. Hi, it's Todd from Park Place Jewelers. We would love to help you celebrate all those special moments and occasions in your life. A new engagement, or an anniversary celebration, an incredible accomplishment, a cherished moment, a lifelong memory, landmark occasions, or a treat yourself present. So let Park Place Jewelers put a sparkle in your life with a gift of fine jewelry. 
Welcome to Monogram Furniture. We've got your style and budget in mind with two locations in Fenwick Island and West Ocean City. Coastal, modern, contemporary, or casual, our knowledgeable design team will make your house into a home with the personal touches that set Monogram Furniture above the rest. Get the wow factor for your home at a price that can't be beaten. 12 months, 0% financing now available. We've also got your windows and doors covered with our custom blinds, shades, and shutters. Discover your style. Discover Monogram today. Improve your vision. Improve your life. Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. An Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so I know the action of my rod tips, right? I know what my rod tips look like when they're, when they're getting bites, when it's just bouncing bottom. Sometimes it's very similar. That, that looks like a fish. not sure and you're moving along drifting like this really slowly you're gonna wait for something like that that's a fish when I feel a pull and it feels like a head shake just pull up real real gently see if you feel the weight I do a little bit of weight on there and a little bit of that shake take the rod tip down in the water and then I set the hook got him feel like much Top hook, let's do the flip. Nice. There we go. Skunk's out of the box, JB. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. So, what did he eat? He ate the deadly double. That chartreuse has been killing it again, just like every year. And he ate the top hook of the rig. There's the bottom down there. I like to start off with a five incher down on the bottom and a four incher up top, see which one they prefer. This guy went for the four incher up top. He's not going to make it, but we'll measure him just for measurement's sake. When I got my aqua traction done, uh, one of the things I wanted to do was put some measurements back here. It's a really great option for the boat. So, got a measurement here up to 35 inches. Nose goes right into the zero, and he gets to, well, it's bigger than I thought, 15 and a half. So, folks, let me introduce you to Paralichthys dentatus. Paralichthys dentatus, this is the folks. There he is, a member of the Soul family, summer flounder. I'm gonna get him in the water, I don't want him to uh, start you know, gasping for water. Uh, but we'll get him in the water, but summer flounder is the one we catch mostly up here. We do catch some winter flounder, the difference between the two. Summer flounder, like that guy, has some teeth. He's facing one direction. Winter flounder doesn't have any teeth. He's facing another direction. Summer flounder, we catch 99.9% .9 more than we do winter flounder. But first one, throwback. Skunks out of the box. See if we can catch a couple more. All right, so what we're gonna do now is the drifting bite produced one throwback, but I'm not, I'm not here for one throwback. Um, so what, what I like to do sometimes when the wind gets tough and you're not getting many bites drifting is to do something we call bump trolling. Um, this will be easier once I get my trolling motor from Midshore Electronics. This will be easier to do because I won't have to do the bump, the bump trolling portion of this. I'll be able to just set my uh, trolling motor to a certain direction, certain speed, and then boom, it's going to keep me right in that direction, right at that speed. But in the meantime, while I wait for my trolling motor, we're going to do some bump trolling. And by bump trolling, I mean I'm going to take my throttle 
and I'm gonna bump it into gear and then I'm gonna drop it and bump it back out. So I've got my nose pointed into the wind. I'm actually going against the drift that we were doing previously. I'm only gonna put two rods out for this just because I like them to both be right off the back of the boat. I got a heavy sinker on this one, still have the three ounce sinker on this one, the two ounce sinker on that one. So this one will be a little bit closer to the boat. And then that one I'll put back a little ways, but they have to be on the bottom, right? You always have to be on the bottom when you're flounder fishing. So we're gonna bump back across this channel into the wind, into the tide. So we're going the opposite direction that we were before. Sometimes the flounder like that kind of thing, right? They're sitting down there on the bottom waiting to ambush something. And just because the wind and the current are coming this way, doesn't mean they might be facing a different direction. So a little bump trolling, see what we can do. And then once we get back up here to the other side of the channel, we'll drift on back. And uh, if we don't get any bites this way. Always got to mix it up, man. Always got to mix it up, especially when you're not getting bites. Oh, no. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Midshore Electronics offers a team of Garmin factory trained technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification, or repair. No project is too small. With locations in Cambridge and Ocean City, Midshore is Delmarva's only Garmin service center. Midshore provides the most innovative marine electronic solutions available, and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Luke and Laura from Sandmarks Marketing. Brand new book out this summer. Luke, tell me about it. Thank you, Scott. Destination Ocean City and Delaware Beaches has all the fun, cool family stuff, including dining, shopping, attractions, golf, and surfing. Don't forget fishing. <laughs> right. oh, that's fishing awesome. Too, that's Scott. awesome. <laughs> and you can find it all around town, I guess. You can. Look in your hotel room, look for the beach chair. And you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. might make it so here's the deal um, up in the thoroughfare and the wind is blowing out of the east it's pretty hard 15 or so fog is finally gone and I was drifting along not having much luck one throwback 
So same area, I decided to do a little back trolling against the wind and the tide. A lot of times, not a lot of times, sometimes, fish will like a bait come in a different direction. So I got a bite on this rod. I only have two rods out trolling off the back of the boat. Just really slow bumping it. Bump it into gear, pull it out. Bump it into gear, pull it out. And I got a bite on this one, and I lost them. And then a split second later, oh, come on, hold on. While we're talking, folks, while we're talking, <laughs> a split second later, I got another bite on the chartreuse deadly double. And while we're sitting there talking about that, this guy jumps on. <laughs> so two on the deck, this doesn't happen much while I'm explaining stuff, but <laughs> I love it when it does. So I'm pretty certain that first fish is a keeper. And now I got to look at the second fish. Go from zero to hero real, real quick, man. Um, and this is how it works. So these, these rigs are working like a charm. Our deadly doubles, this new color. Whoa, that was a close one. He wasn't on there very good. This new color is the, we're calling it an orange, but you can see it looks exactly like the salmon red gulp color. That's what I've got on this one. That's what this second fish ate. I'm gonna be tangled up here a second. Let's give him a look real quick. So, a couple of weeks ago, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources lowered the size limit for summer flounder. You guys are out there catching fish, anything over 16 inches is now legal. They dropped a half inch off the legal size limit. So anything now 16 inches or larger is able to be kept. Season is still the same, year round, open year round, and the creel limit is still the same four fish per person. So I'm looking for something 16 inches. Zero on the board here. That fish is just shy of 17. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! There's fish number one. And I'm certain this fish is bigger than the, that one. That fish is probably gonna go 18 or so and much, much fatter. Look at that, that's a really, really fat fish. They're up here eating really, really well. So what's happening is these fish are up here feeding close to the marshes, the rivers and things like that, up in the flats of the thoroughfare, anywhere between five feet deep and 10 feet deep or so is where most of the fish are being caught and they're eating grass shrimp. Grass shrimp is the mainstay of their diet this time of the year. Then it'll change to shiners, minnows, spot, all that kind of stuff as the summer moves on. But right now you can see they're eating real, real healthy. I know this fish is legal. Zero there. 17 and a half on that one. So whoa, while we we're getting a bite on the one, missed the fish, had to rat fart it real quick. Boom, get a bite on the other one, hook that fish, get him to the boat. That's this one. While I'm sitting there explaining to you guys what's going on, this one gets hit just drifting out there in the middle of nowhere and we put two in the box. <laughs> Getting weird, weird nibbles on these things. Part of the problem is I'm drifting so slow that if a fish does bite it, he can let go of it really quickly and I'll never even notice it. When you're drifting or you're trolling, you're moving along pretty good clip. That fish bites it, he's usually moving toward it, and when he bites it, he immediately either gets hooked or you feel it right away. But when you're drifting really slowly, the fish will have a chance to kind of tap at it, tap at it before he goes to swallow. It doesn't have to be as aggressive when you're drifting slowly. And that's what's happened. The wind is laid down, the tide's not rolling in here real fast. So I'm getting these little nibbles, like a little peck, but not, not the whole. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it, but Chartreuse deadly double, man. White gulp. He ain't making it, but we'll check him. I'll show you just so, just so you can 
starting to guesstimate. 14, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah, 14. But another throwback. That's why I call them throwback. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. For over 40 years, the Dough Roller has been an Ocean City tradition, serving award-winning fresh dough pizza and our signature buttermilk pancakes served all day. Visit our website for menus, location details, and hours. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends, all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fish and OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan Pontoon Boat Dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan Pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. 6G. Network, 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 network. network. We've had Arizona for over six years. In the beginning, we knew that this was gonna make a difference, but we didn't realize how big of a difference it was gonna make. I think our staff enjoy being able to have that option to sanitize their classroom. We actually didn't realize exactly how many people would enroll in our school just because we had Arizona. So just the fact that they know that we're doing everything we can to make sure we're cutting out those germs in the classroom. That is what's best for the kids. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Kind of like I was telling you before when I caught that throwback about the rod tip, knowing what my rod tips, you know, look like. This one looked a little bit different too, but the difference between that fish and this probably non-fish is, I don't feel the steady pressure of some sort of weight pulling against me. That's the major difference. But what you're noticing is, I'm not doing any big game jerks. I'm not reeling in a lot. I want to give it its time. So if it is a flounder, they'll they'll follow it for hundreds of yards. A lot of you might not know that, but um, they'll follow it for hundreds of yards. I had the uh, underwater camera on a rig last year, and there are three different fish that you can see in the video, and several of them follow it for what seems like a hundred feet or more. So I want to leave this down there because if something's interested in it. It could be following it right now. And I felt the initial peck or something. He liked it. Maybe he's following it along. But I'm not going to wait too long because if I don't feel that pressure, then there's probably not a fish on it. But I will check my bait because if there's nothing on there, sometimes it'll go through grass and pick up grass. It's just like that. So, we got a little bit of a salad to go with the fried fish for later. 
Stay on it, bro. Oh, he's hooked in the side or something. Shoot. <laughs> oh, boy. It's a flounder like hooked in the tail or the side or something. He must have been swimming away, but I don't want to. Oh, boy. Come on. All right, folks, I'm heading out for the day. <laughs> Look at this. You got to be kidding me. He might not even be hooked. He might just be caught. <laughs> Been a deadly double hooks him in the tail. <laughs> that is insane. We're going to have to figure this out. Watch this. So look, here's the deal. Here's how dumb flounder fishing can be. I felt a nibble, right? There's no denying. I felt, I felt the nibble when I picked that rod tip up. And then I felt nothing. So I dropped it back, like I told you a little while ago. Felt just a little bit of pressure, whoom, and I set the hook. And look what I did. It hit me in the back of the head. I hooked this fish. I've never done this in 30 years. I hooked this fish in the tail, straight in the tail. I don't even know if he's legal, but I've never seen that before or done that before. But it goes to show you, the hooks on these rigs are ready sharp. Wow, look at that. So 16 inches, what do you think? You guys have been judging flounder for a while, mouth closed to the tip of the tail. Think I'm getting 16 out of them? I'm gonna go with right on the nose. Zero. 16, baby, right on the nose. <laughs> That's number three for me. <laughs> Hooked in the tail, keeper number three. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Time's up. I've got a uh I've got a Worcester prep Steven Decatur lacrosse game to get to. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a flounder for beginners. So stick around. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tea time today. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. Don't just visit the beach, make it your home. Live the coastal lifestyle. Live by the water. Live by the catch. Live by the coastal culture. Live by your own rules. You have the right to choose your title company. Eastern Title is here to ensure that your coastal property is the right fit. We're here to simplify the transition from your favorite getaway into your new staycation home. Eastern Title. We close anywhere, anytime. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, so I got a couple of really nice flounders. Surprising today, man. I thought it was going to be tough when we first started. Uh, Throwback off the bat, and then boom, boom, boom. The antics of today, I don't even know how to explain that. Get a bite, miss it, rat farts, and then literally, you could, John could have kept rolling. It was literally 30 seconds later that rod was going again. 
hook him up, put him in the boat, turn around, I'm explaining things, and then bam, the other rod goes off, got two laying on the deck. And then a little while later, hook one through the tail. Never done that before. But here they sit. Um, these are really, really nice, healthy fish. You can see how thick they are from top to bottom. So if you, even if you get a legal fish, just barely legal, 16 inches, it's gonna have plenty of yield. Here's how you get that off of them. I like to do this in four pieces. So even if you're a beginner, this is a way to do that where you can get four fillets off of a fish. That's how I cook them anyway when I'm making sandwiches. So here we go. Get a nice grip, top of the head. You're gonna start an incision, go down below his pectoral fin and come out by the belly. So you got a nice little half moon there, a little half circle. And then go in right here on the lateral line and make an incision and go to the tail straight down that center. You can see he's gonna even do some moving because I'm hitting his nerves there. Then I'm gonna notch the tail because I'll be coming out there. Tip of the knife goes in here, right behind the head and make that line all the way down toward the back. The entire time you're keeping your knife right along the backbone. And now I can go in, put my thumb in here and work this knife back and forth. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it while I'm doing it. Just like that. Sorry if I get some on you folks. There we go, there's one fillet. Same thing on the dark side on the bottom. This is the second fillet of the four. Put that thumb in there, always being very careful to keep your fingers out of the way. And you just work that blade back and forth. And see so you get that fillet off. There's two fillets. White side is thinner than the dark side, so it's a little bit more difficult, but you can still get some pretty good meat off of here as well. Same thing with that half circle. There you go, you can see underneath my arm. Put the knife in all along his lateral line. On the white side, you can actually see his lateral line. That's the, that's the line that comes from his brain that does all the talking to the fins and that sort of stuff. So knife down the lateral line, notch his tail. Tip of the knife in. You can hear those, you can actually hear the tip of the knife running along the vertebrae there. And you can see how this white side is thinner than that dark side. But you're still going to get some nice meat off of it. Alright. This isn't it easy trying to show you guys at home with a camera angle. But we're getting it done. Alright, there's filet number three. And then filet number four. Same exact thing. Putting that tip of the knife along the backbone. You can hear it going along the vertebrae. And then always just working the knife back and forth until you get all the way to the fins. And then you can usually just pull that right off. So there we go, four nice fillets. You'll be able to see light through that. Check that out. Can't make me out, but you can see light through that. Pretty good job. That goes overboard. And then you're gonna skin each piece. I'll just show you one. You're gonna skin each piece just like this. Put it right along the edge of the table. You're going to put your knife at a 45 degree angle. Get it all the way down to the skin. And then you're just going to shimmy that skin towards you as you move the knife back and forth. All the skin comes off. And you have got one beautiful flounder filet. Do that with the rest of the pieces. And you got plenty of meat there for sandwiches, anything you'd like to make with flounder. And I'm going to get to the rest of these. You guys go take a quick break. We'll be back in just a second to close it out. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill. It's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland Wear and Carry Permit. If you qualify, we can help. Public, private, and corporate events for training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing.
Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the show and welcome to the Angler's Advantage right here at Atlantic Tackle. Every single episode, we're going to bring you what's hot, not what's not, because usually things are pretty good, and what we're using during the episode so you guys can have some success out there doing whatever kind of fishing we happen to be doing. So today, what are we doing? Flounder fishing in much worse conditions than we're looking at today. Absolutely beautiful here, right, John? Beautiful day here at Atlantic Tackle. Weather should be getting better as we progress throughout the season, and the flounder fishing should get even better as well, as long as that water stays clean. So, Atlantic Tackle has all kinds of options for flounder fishing here. They've got an entire section devoted just to flounder, because it's such a popular fish here in Ocean City. Great options from AquaClear. AquaClear makes several different types of flounder rigs, makes some surf rigs and things like that as well. The sea Striker, they've got prepackaged flounder rigs. Atlantic Tackle even has their own prepackaged flounder rigs. They also have components to make your own flounder rigs if you like. Skirts, mylar, bucktail hair, all sorts of different colors. What are we using today? We are using the Fish and OC stuff. This, um, this line of product was invented a long time ago by a very dear friend of mine, Dale Timmons. He used to own a company called Acetique Tackle. And Dale stopped making the stuff for the longest time and we were still using it on the show, still using it for what we do for flounder fishing and having a huge amount of success. So the demand allowed us to bring it back and Dale's put it in our control. Some of these designs are mine, some of them are his, but we're doing really, really well with them and folks are catching fish. That's the most important part. What are we using specifically today? We're using the Deadly Double. And this is the rig that started it all. The Deadly Double in Chartreuse. This rig, for three out of the last four years, has caught the very first flounder in Ocean City. First fish of the season has been caught on the Deadly Double in Chartreuse with a white gulp. Happened in 2019 with my wife Kristen caught one on, I think it was April the 8th, 2021. It happened with Todd Hasco around April the 5th or 9th or something like that. Same exact rig. And then I did it this year on April the 3rd, deadly double chartreuse with a white five inch gulp. Really, really, really great rig. It also comes in pink. New for 2022, it comes in white. And this one has been super hot this spring. This is the orange, but if you look very closely, like I told you a little while ago, this looks just like the salmon red gulp. We try and match these colors up so we've got chartreuse, pink, white, and salmon red. All the popular gulp colors in that swimming mullet four and five inch. They also make grubs. I've got one grub on my orange deadly double today that we're fishing with. And then also we've got some stuff that you'll be able to use in the bay and in the ocean. Here's the thing with the deadly double. Because of these spinner blades, if you fish in too deep a current or too deep a water or too strong a current, those spinner blades are going to be working overtime. They're eventually going to be start spinning too fast. They're going to tangle that rig up. So we don't recommend the deadly double for the ocean. That's more back bay fishing, shallower water, have great success in the thoroughfare behind Assateague Island and that sort of thing inside the Ocean City Inlet, maybe close to shore in the ocean, but that current gets ripping. Don't use the deadly double because that spinner blade just gets moving too quick. Opposite to that, the double trouble and the squidly work perfect for those kind of scenarios. Deep water, fast current, no problem. Double Trouble comes with skirts. It's got regular Mylar skirts on it, and it's also got your wide gap hook. That's your traditional flounder hook, wide gap hooks on the Double Trouble. It comes in chartreuse, pink, white, and orange by request. And then the pink squidly 
is also here available at Atlantic Tackle. Lots of folks love that pink squidly. I sold a ton of these up in New Jersey at the Edison Outdoor Show just a few months ago. Those guys love them up there for their ocean fishing. So there's the spread. Come in and ask for it by name. The Fishing OC Deadly Double, the Fishing OC Double Trouble, some of your Aqua Clear rigs, Sea Striker, Atlantic Tackle, and then Old Salt has some of the uh, components to put this stuff together yourself. They've got all the live bait right over the railing here, live minnows, they've got frozen shiners, squid, you name it, Atlantic Tackle is stocked to the ceiling for all your flounder fishing needs. I recommend you come by and grab it, all right? Right across the street from Sunset Grill, right down the street from Sunset Provisions and Sunset Marina, 410-213-0421. You might even see me here. See you after the break. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aqua Traction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aqua Traction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aqua Traction has an unmatched three year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out AquaTraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory-trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marine in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? Why not? And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so caught a couple of nice fish today. Uh, really surprised that we caught a keeper at all, but we ended up with three fish, 17, 18, and 21 inches. And now we're gonna make some awesome fried fish sandwiches. Hi, we're gonna make fried panko fish sandwiches. So first we're just gonna do a simple flour, egg wash, panko breadcrumb, salt and pepper, put them in the frying pan back there and fry them up till crispy. Now I'm putting it in the egg wash. I'm gonna to try to get the extra off of there before I stick it into my breadcrumbs. And over here, we've got the panko breadcrumbs. They are different from regular breadcrumbs. Uh, they're also known as Japanese breadcrumbs and we think that they taste a little bit crispier and taste a little bit better. So if you haven't tried panko breadcrumbs before, I highly recommend that you give them a shot on the next time you're frying up chicken or fish or anything else that you want. All right, so great job, hon. These look beautiful. These are gonna fry up really, really nice and crispy. Oil's hot, we do this like medium high heat. It's just gonna be a couple of minutes. The cat <laughs> wants some of this. He can smell it around the corner. He's already meowing at me, but let's go ahead and drop these in here. Always lay these fillets away from you because you don't want any splash coming down on you. And when you hear that sizzle when you drop them in, you know you've done it right. I don't wanna overcrowd the pan, so I'm gonna do three fillets. And then we'll cook the last two. Yeah! Got my handy dandy fish flipper. Just invested in this the other day. Look at that popping and sizzling. Yeah! And it's only going to be a couple of minutes, man. Flounder is very thin fish, um, so it won't take long at all. It's just going to be about 30, 30 to 45 seconds on each side. 
once it gets crispy, I'm going to go ahead and flip it because I don't want to get it getting uh, burnt on one side before I can get the other side cooked. That's kind of nice. I like that fish flipper. All right, that was, that was only 30 seconds or so. Let this side settle in. Oh, oh that side looks nice and crispy yeah, right there. That. Got a deep fryer at home. This works really easily, man. You drop it in the fry basket, drop it down in the oil, um, and just check it every you know, minute or so. If you don't, just find a you know 10 inch skillet, 13 inch skillet, whatever they call these. Put like a quarter of an inch of oil or so in it, medium high heat. Wait till it gets hot, and bam. Since we're making sandwiches, I like to test one and I'll cut all the way through it and see if it's white all the way through. It looks like it needs another about 30 seconds and we're golden. Ooh boy. Wow, that looks great. All right, that should do it. Really like this fish flipper, that's nice. And you see how crispy that this panko breadcrumbs make this. That is really, really nice. Yeah, look at that. All right, man. We'll get these other two fried up, make some sandwiches. All right, man, there you go. There you go. Fried flounder a la Lennox. Yeah. <laughs> First of many to come. Nice I'm sure. job, man. That yeah. was pretty surprising. We, no, were, we were thinking about maybe going rock fishing uh, if we didn't catch any flounder. There hadn't been a lot of flounder caught. I caught the first fish on April 3rd. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. Still nice come, fish. I still haven't come down from that yet. We've only seen one flounder caught since Yeah, we've, that only, we've only had yeah. other one, one other one reported to us. 13? Uh, okay, I don't know. Yeah, today's, today's oh. the 12th. So we only had other, one other fish reported to us. I've heard of another one or two, but not like a lot of fish out in the bay. So we figured we'd go out and try it for a little bit uh, and then go catch some rockfish, maybe make a video for you guys on the rockfish up at the Route 90 Bridge and get Kristen in it. But man, second drift. It was fine. Boom, second drift. She hooks up an 18, first fish of the season for her. And then uh, two subsequent fish after that, 17 for me and a nice big fat 21. Yeah. Um, we're going to make that into another recipe that we'll have down the line there. We're having Gary Jeez. Beach's Burr Blanc. Uh, but look at these things. I use a whole filet on mine, one of those, that's why we do it in four pieces like I showed you during the cleaning, because it fits perfectly on something like this. Ryan and Kristen like the uh, potato, like rolls, potato rolls, and I like the uh, Hawaiian, I like the Hawaiian mini sub rolls because it fits on there perfectly. A little bit of tartar sauce. Yeah. I have a reminder for everyone too. Um, it's easier to remember your sunscreen mm. in the summertime when it's hot. <laughs> But I don't know if you can see my face and how red it is right now. Don't forget it in the spring yeah. and the fall like I did today. I didn't bring a hat either. This Jesus video is burning. not color corrected. <laughs> yeah, it's like burning. Nice work. Thank you. Let's try this out. Can't wait to eat this. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach.
Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. You don't buy an ordinary chair for the beach, so why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, there we go, guys. A couple of really nice bags of fish. John Ben, this one's for you. Thank you for working so hard on this episode. Dave Messick, all right, this one, and you folks at the studio, that one's for you. Thanks for doing such a great job. And folks, thank you for tuning into this and every single episode of Hooked on OC. Right here every Sunday morning, seven o'clock. Flounder fishing is just getting going. First fish of the season was caught on April the 3rd this year. We're fishing right now, last couple weeks in April. It'll get nothing but better for the next couple of weeks all the way through May, June. And if the water stays clean, it'll be great all summer long. The keeper ratio is gonna go down a little bit. You're not gonna have, you know, we had three keepers out of five fish today. That's gonna switch around. You're gonna have 15 throwbacks to one or two keepers as the summer progresses. But fishing should be good throughout the summer as long as that water stays clean. Fish are moving in here all the time. If you can't get on a boat of your own, Make sure you go to fishinoc.com. We've got an inshore charter section and an inshore party boat section where they do this kind of thing. If you like the show, make sure you like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, and then make sure you go to hookedonoc.com for all episodes of the show and all of our Hooked on OC gear. Thanks very much for tuning into this episode and every episode. Scott Lennox.